everybody. Thanks for joining me today. I have to tell you, I love being in Chinatown. I love the sights and the sounds and the smells. I love to shop here and I love, of course, to eat here. There are all sorts of wonderful things to buy and to taste. And even in the dead of winter, there are a lot more, I don't know if you can see them over there, there are a lot more fruits and fruit and vegetable vendors around than I had expected. They're out today, so we're going to do a little bit of shopping. I have, I'm on a mission. Uh, I want to get, uh, I want to get some uh, barbecued meats and I want to get some choy sum to go with it because it's my most favorite vegetable. So if you'll uh, come with me, we're going to look around a little bit. Now, of course, you can find uh, Chinatown barbecue all over the neighborhood, but here's my favorite place to buy. Sunset Gay. It's on the corner of Baxter Street and um, it's sort of on the canal. Uh, it's overlooking canal. So here, uh, right in the front window of Sunset Gay, you'll see soy sauce chicken and all those beautiful ducks hanging there by their necks with that mahogany skin, that gorgeous glaze. And, oh, there's a nice big old piece of pig back there. See it? With that uh, strange crumb coating on the skin there. And then there are all kinds of other things you can, little goodies you can get too, like oh, duck yeah. feet and, oh, feed. Oh, and uh, oh, Cantonese roast pork oh, too. All oh, the usual goodies. For... Now this is the barbecue uh, department at Kaman, uh, the wonderful little supermarket in the heart of Chinatown on Canal Street. And you can see they have a really wonderful selection of barbecue, those gorgeous birds. And look at the um, ribs and roast pork and there's some great big old hunks of that wonderful barbecued pig back there and uh, these uh, chickens are beautifully glazed I'm going to have to get one of those next time and they also have all sorts of wonderful innards mm -hmm. what a treat Everybody except for the chickens, of course. So we got much more in the way of fruit and vegetable vendors than I was expecting for the middle of winter. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous pea shoots. And then some wonderful little choy. Look at those tiny, tiny little mustard greens. Look at that. And then little bitty bok choy, tiny, tiny little uh, short ones, and then longer ones. Look at those things, aren't they pretty? And then down the end there is my most favorite vegetable of all. I'll get to that in a moment, the one she's weighing up now. That one is called choy sum, and it's the perfect vegetable to go with those Chinatown wonderful Chinatown barbecued meats. So I'm gonna go see if I can score some choy sum. Now I don't know exactly where this was grown, some sort of warmer climate of course, but uh, it's in nice shape. Notice it has little yellow flowers. That's some of the larger ones. Little sort of broccoli-like flowers that turn yellow when they get more mature but uh, this is nice and tender so we're gonna get some of this take it home cook it choy sum is really really simple to cook it only takes a few minutes um, this uh, this baby Choy sum that I was able to find in Chinatown is the tenderest, most beautiful I've ever seen. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, normally, uh, 
your trisum is going to be a little bit uh, bigger, so you're going to want to uh, trim the um, stem ends a little bit. But this one is so gorgeous. All we're going to do is just pick it over a little bit and pull off any wilted or yellowed leaves. Um, and all we need is salted boiling water for the cooking, so um, get that going. And then uh, by way of trimming your uh, choice sum, as I said, usually you want to trim the uh, stem end, you know, take off about a half inch or something of the uh, tough stem ends. With this, it's all ready to go. So all I need to do is line it up and slice off, oh, an inch maybe of the uh, leaves end. Now, that may, may seem strange to you, but in uh, Cantonese cooking, it's really those stems that are most uh, prized, the crunch of them. And the leaves are almost uh, incidental. So um, just pick it over a little bit. And then uh, in it goes. Now the cooking time on this um, will normally be Oh, three or maybe even five minutes uh, if it's very uh, 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 full grown and the stems are quite crunchy, you know, maybe up to five minutes. But this little baby choy sum is only going to need like maybe two minutes, uh, two or three if you want it a little bit softer. So after it's had that time, and make sure you cook it uncovered so the um, fumes can all dissipate so it stays nice and green because if you cover it, it might turn yellow. So transfer it uh, to your serving plate or platter and drain it really well. And uh, then um, we just need to flavor it a tiny bit and it's good to go. So you want to arrange it a little bit on your plate, neaten it up so that it looks nice when you get it to the table. Try to you know, line up those stem ends and so that it looks pretty. So get that organized a little bit. I learned that I needed tongs, of course, because it's very hot. So get that arranged and then you need to just flavor it a little bit. Drain it again just to make sure there's not any extra cooking water on the plate to dilute your flavors and then you can go ahead and season it. So there are only two ingredients. The first one is oyster sauce or oyster flavored sauce. So just a little touch of umami there and uh, you know really only like two or three teaspoons is all you need. It, a little uh, oyster sauce goes a long way. And then uh, two or three teaspoons of uh, bland uh, vegetable oil. Now, this is not for flavor. This is to give it a really nice, elegant mouthfeel. So that's what the oil is for. And that's it. So uh, once you've flavored your uh, steamed, uh, it's called steamed even though it's blanched, your steamed choy sum with oyster sauce and a little bit of vegetable oil, you've got it. This uh, recipe is at BruceBeckInTheKitchen.com. I hope you will drop by, say hello, uh, watch the video on YouTube, and uh, please um, give me a give me a shout out. I always love to hear from you. Always a pleasure. Thanks for joining me today for choice some steamed vegetable.